evil geniuses versus the Wings Gaming here in the upper bracket finals. This is going to be absolutely mental. We've had out in this mid lane and wow. Around, back into the jungle. Somehow's actually going to come across for a rotation. They're looking for Ice Ice, and this this could certainly look like a first blood potential with a borrow strike. Zai coming around from the sidelines. Ice Ice trying to run himself away, but Samel moves in, claims the first blood. Test against his top lane push. He realizes it. Uh, oh, Innocence, not again. I know he's on his own down here. Easy move in in universe and PPD take themselves an easy kill. Best. Again. Yeah, if they're getting kills like this again, the second time down here, why put out shadows around as well? Some kind of action traders, they look for the tier one, but EG's coming in. Radiant's Gotta be careful about this one. Ravage from Fabian from the tree line, though. Moving in on Smell, he's got him! They'll get themselves the first kill, Wings. And it's a big one as well, taking down Smell. Very soon, and it makes it very hard to punish Wings if you don't have that vision. Size. PPD getting a position, Samael's there to initiate with the Borrow Strike. Mystic Flare coming down. Mech certainly isn't going to be enough to save the Enigma. Will allow the space for the tower to go down. Fear now teeping away, joining the rest of EG. So the full fight man coming down. They want to fight, they'll jump in. Look to get a pick onto Y, they'll take the Rubik. EG looking to move in for more. Universe closing the gap with the Shikuchi. Samael and sped up by Zai. He should be able to blink in in a second and get another Borrow Strike off as they're looking for more. Black Black hole. Hole. It's going to catch Universe, but it's not. Oh, we'll get the kill. Wings trying to find oh. the oh. boy from Fear. Burst down Ice Ice. Blink needs to clean up for more Fear. Jumps aside. To Mayo. Borrow Strikes on to Razor. Taking him down. Blink looking for a clean up job. Finds himself another. It's two for two at the moment. Zai goes for the straight TP out just in time. The lineups you want to be able to get at least a tier two by this point. Let's see what they can do. They've got an epicenter in the mana void available. So Mayo and Fear might be able to play this one. Jumping in. There's going to be real okay coming in from Zai as well. They're going to throw everything. A blink, tries to oh, it, but it's just a latch. A blink in a lot of trouble here. He's still going to try and run. There's a matter of what available. Fear jumps in, oh. but the ball oh, shadow takes out Fear, makes him pay of his life. Samael gets brought out just in time by Zai. Dealing damage and obviously getting that disable going, but we do see another smoke here. You've got Blink and Ice Ice eyeing up Universe, but EG's coming around behind. There's going to be backup. They'll jump in on Ice Ice with the Burrow Strike and Mystic Flare. On wings, the two of them kind of messing around up there. Heroes, it's very true. Sometimes you see a, a huge magic damage composition and you're like, okay, if I buy BKB, we're good. Scan, it's gonna hit here. Four man smoke coming in from wings. So they can get the jump on Ice Ice. Looking for Zai first, but Zai steps across. Oh, Fabian! There with the Bling Ravage Universe. It's gonna be able to get himself away with the Lincoln Sphere. Zai gonna be focused by wings. They'll take down Io. Cutting the creep wave if they're able to kill the rest of his team. Jumping for Samael onto Fate Beyond. The illusions as well, chomping down the mana. Wise trying to close the gap with the Shikuchi. Blink comes in. They've got the Telekinesis off the BPD. They'll bring down the Sky Raph. And oh, that's a gem as well. That is a gem as well. It's a good pick from Wings. Yeah, but Fear again. All they have to do is kill the Creep Wave. And they won't be able to push. BKB for Samael as well. It's all coming together for EG. See what they're able to do about this Shadow. Slowly bringing down the main Brax. Samael gets the jump in the Ravik of the battle line, but he doesn't hit all the ball! Universe got the PKB off in time, they've lost PPD, but Fear jumps four. Black hole! Oh, 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 to three! Oh, nice! But Samael with the epicenter return fire! There's a buyback from Zai, Ice Ice backing off. EG, they've lost Fear as well, he does not have buyback available because of the PKB investment. And Wings! They're they still not have... going to stick around. Yeah, they, the Shadow's way too low. He's at like 10, 20% health. They didn't end up getting the racks, but they did kill the AM. And they do That was a, an amazing black hole. And they've got, a, they've got another Ravage available. He popped yeah. the refreshes, but didn't need to use it. Now mid lane, Samuel Ravage down! Oh! Zai's come across. He's got to tether himself away. But That's now, 60 seconds with no Sand King. No buyback for Samuel. No buyback for Fear. The mid racks are free for the taking for the looks of it. Wings pushing in. EG, they've only got three members alive. What can they do to stop this? The heroes I mean, are just so tanky, they can't do anything. Like, how are you going to kill a Timber Saw without your Sand King, without your AM? How are you going to kill Faith Beyond? Wings. Wings is taking the racks. They've got it. And with the AC complete on Shadow, this push is going to be amped up. Fear's going to be back in the game. We'll see if he can do anything, but still without the initiation potential from Samael Sand King. It's going to be a hard defense. Tier 3 falling fast. Fortification comes out from EG. See what they can do about this. Looking to try and force that big, but as you said, they're so damn tanky. Wings not phased at all. Universe looking for Shadow. 
This is Bob Fear jumping in, looking towards the Tide Hunter. They're backing off. And Telekinesis onto Fear. They have the follow up. Doesn't look like it, but Blink. Oh, side. Side. Drop down by the Shakram. IO's out for 60. And Wings. You find half of the bottom racks. EG seeming to struggle with the pressure that Wings are putting on. Wings, they got the tools together. PPD's down. There, BKB pop looking to fight in, but BKB's coming back up for Wings. Samael with the epicenter on to wide. Can't kill the Rubik, but has to get himself out now. Pops the BKB runs, but Wings, they'll take him down. Oh, the goes down. To go as well. GG. 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 And Wings. Absolutely impeccable play. EG, they were getting the farm on their cores, but Wings, they just needed that one push. That one fight, that one excellent bit of teamwork to shut the game down, and they did it. Wings just, they knew exactly how to work with their job. The itemization on their squad too, you have to give nothing but props to them. A lot of them buy hoods, they get the mech super early, they say, look, if we get one shot at your base, it's over. You don't have the damage, you don't have the item progression. They managed to deal with the... Oh, 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 oh <laughs> You know, the Medusa is carrying those items much better than Alchemist during the later stages of the game. That's why I need to hit that timing. And here comes the smoke. Oh, here we go. EG looking to kick things off with a bit of a bang. Walking into Fate Beyond. Here we have them. Three of them beating down Arrow for the next. And EG will get themselves first blood for fear on the Mirage. We'll see if they can get a wrap around onto Blink's Medusa. And it looks like they will. Universe closing in with the Void. Acid spray out. Zai coming in with a Fire Blaster. Blink out of mana, out of HP. EG take down the Medusa. Whilst this goes on up top, PPD is actually getting a good bit of XP on, on the Wyvern, so it's a good progression. It's going to be mid lane where, where the focus is. Universe trying to go not to blink. TP coming through, actually not going to make it here. Could just be Faith Beyond coming across. EG trying to dive in deep. Universe low on mana. He's not He's got, got any no mana roar. Such, but they'll block off Faith Beyond. Still blink, trying to help out the Beastmaster. They'll turn in with some mail and they'll take another. EG really amping up the pressure in this early game. Samael with a medallion complete as well, very early on. Radiant it's certainly going at the pace that EG would have hoped for. And Wings themselves struggling to deal with it. And soon, you know, PPD with this space, he's going to have a very early Winter's Curse. And at the bottom lane. Solo man, kill. Hang on. Killing a Huskar on his own. Things are falling apart for Wings. And I mean, fear he's 3-0-0. But they're actually going to look towards the bottom, trying to stop EG, who have three heroes down here. They're looking to maybe make a play onto Shadow. PPD leading the way, zoning back Shadow, but Ice Eyes with the stomp, catching three with a sleep here, and they'll focus Fear first. Roar out from Faith Beyond, Mirana's out of the fight, and PPD and Zai have to back. But here we go with the Earth Splitter, forcing them to spin. PPD walks back into it, though. PPD is going to go down almost certainly. He's got a cold embrace. But Shadow, Vapia standing there, the Burning Spears stack up, the Wyvern's down. Melting to the flames of Shadow. Want to make sure the Wings don't get away with this, it looks like they still will. Shadow claims the tower, but EG might be able to fight into this one. Zai, they got Curse. Moving forward, we'll see how they set this up. Fire Blast onto Shadow, Blink get the Stone Gaze off, this is going to make it very hard for EG to fight into. Zamao is frozen up. There's no damage. But EPD indeed just tickling them at the moment, of course, in this earlier stages. And Wings still deciding that they've got to back with a Fire Blast onto Y. Universe, Void onto the Shadow Demon, he'll defensively disrupt himself. Shadow just back in, but the Curse is out, holding it in place. That's Not going to be able to get in kills at the moment, but the Earth split it onto Surveil! Oh, oh, and Shadow! They'll get the Alchemist by the to this Surveil! Can't get himself out of that one! Shadow, though, still ticks down! Moving out at the same time, the wraparound from EG is looking for the mid lane fight. Ice Ice is going to be the focus of Zai. Universe moving out to the other time. He's fairly beefy. It's going to take a bit of a while to bring him down. And they might not get it because Fate Beyond comes in, chops the trees. Ice Ice with the stock finally goes down. So EG will get the kill. Looking for Shadow, jumps across onto Zai. Zai, corner brace for PBD. Zai is going to live throughout this one. A defensive disruption onto Shadow. Shadow turns towards the Wyvern. PBD force back Samael, chasing down Huskar. But he can't quite finish off the kill. Shadow getting low. Zai, Fire Blast. They need a start there. They have a departure from Samael. They're finding themselves a third kill in this engagement. Fear, Universe, dancing around the back lines. Everyone's so low. It's making it very hard for Wings to get the targets that they look for at the start when the jumping is there from Shadow and EG. 
They're coming around from oh, the side. Rage is wearing off. To fight the split. It's going to connect onto Sameo. The cold embrace is there. Oh, now. what a curse. Again, PPD with the say Sameo turns around. Ball punches into Ice Ice. Ice Ice just about going to live. They'll get Sameo with the Stonegate side. Coming in, looking to clobber down the other time. But Ice Ice going for the TP. Oh, They'll finally kill him with Turbo's eye, pays with his life. And Samael, with that shadow, is he going to go for oh, a very Oh man, end? Wings just barely missed the stand. They thought they were going for a smoke, but now they're coming in. They're still they know what's happening. It. They're going to try and contest it here. Earthspin has just come back online. EG taking it down to about third half. Arrow connects onto Shadow that they can't afford to lose the Huskar at the start of this fight. There's a defensive disruption from Y. Shadow now jumps in onto Fear. Fear leads away. The Winter's Curse with PVD holding Shadow in place. The Wing's still there to help out the Huskar. Turning towards Universe. He's got it back. The Flaming Spear stacking up. Cold Embrace from PPD. Buying Universe on the side. Oh. Still has a Stone Gate to stop. Onto Universe. The Stone Gate comes out. Samael going to get frozen here. Universe trying to get back in the pit with the Mystic Stay. Takes it down. Samael trying to fight around. It's the Arrow. Connects with the fake behind the Huskar. Shadow beats into Samael. Chasing down for more now. Fear has to leap away with the stop. From Ice Ice. Catches that PPD. A third kill for Wings. They win the Rose fight. They'll head straight this into the pit. This is free Roshan. It's absolutely huge for Wings. Man, their team fight coordination is just off the charts. And Arrow's going to land here, but it does not matter. So you can maybe look to that and say they can split up the map a bit, EG, and force Wings around and not be able to just get to the base and start looking to siege because once they get there, you know, that Beastmaster Vlad's plus Inner Beast is great. Axon Fear, Axon Universe. Let's see how this changes the tide of the fight. ZG looking to lead in with the Moonlight Shadow. See if they can focus first. Shadow Demon's incredibly pesky, but oh, it's going to be the concoction onto Shadow. I've lost onto Faith Beyond. Arrow connects onto the Huskar as well, but Blink, he's there with the Stone Gate so that IEG can't jump in onto Shadow. Uh, the Earth Splitter coming through is going to land onto PPD. But the Corner Brace is going to keep alive for the time being, but Shadow will just start to stack up the Burning Spears, so PPD will go down. Just a one for one at the moment. Can't afford to lose that Samael. Bring it onto Shadow, Solo Chris down as well. Do they have the damage with the tower coming in? They'll take him. He's got Aegis, he's going to be back for round two. Raw from Faith Beyond onto Fear, Marauder. Can he get out? He does! Fear jumps down, keeps himself alive. Ice, 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 take it down at EG. They're turning this one. Fear does still fall. Samael needs to kill oh. Samael, but he can't! The Huskar looks to be too strong at this stage for the remaining members of EG to deal with on this top lane. As Wings take a tier two and Shadow. Oh, just good curse. Away. That's a free kill there. Oh, unless the Shadow Demon Disruption comes out. Faith behind it. Oh, Zai's not. going too deep. Zai! Total visions onto the Beastmaster. Pays with his life. PPD in the tree line. Take it down as well. Wings. Baiting EG out. Taking them down. And Arrow connects from Fear onto Blink. It's going to be buyback from PPD. EG, they need to do something big here. Looking to the Shadow Demon, but Innocent, he's not going to fall. Blink. Crumbling on this top lane, Samael from Good EG. game! They tap out 23 minutes in, EG call it a week! Are your first grand finalist here in TI6, taking down EG in the upper bracket finals 2-0 in absolutely incredible fashion. Unbelievable. They played this game so well. In the beginning, it looked like EG had a really solid laning stage. Sumail's going for this mid-game centric build. He went for the Solar Crest, he went for the Armlet, and EG look a little bit at a loss right now, and I don't blame them, man. I Ice Ice, especially on his Elder Titan, good God. That, that guy is an absolute monster. Absolutely, and we see, I mean, Shadow Demon as well, wise performances, continuously saving heroes with the disruptions. Yeah, Innocence had a, an absolutely standout game. It was. There were so many times where I feel like EG were so close to being able to take a team fight, but they were just not quite getting enough damage out. Like the Roshan pit fight to me is where the game really started to turn around. They go in, they have to use the defensive Winter's Curse. The fight was very disjointed for EG, and after that point, Wings getting the Aegis, it kind of just gave them the little bit of boost they needed to just end the game at 23 minutes. And here we are.